everyone! I am so excited to bring you a review on a great, great brush set, and I'm going to tell you all about it. It's new from Sigma. It's called the Bunny Collection. So this is a vegan-friendly brush kit. It's all synthetic brushes. Um, they all have that if you're familiar with Sigma brushes, it's the Sigmax brush fibers that are super duper soft, but it's like a whole set of that that can be like your full face brush set. I have the travel size of this, so this is a kind of small little um, double brush holder thing, and I'll show you that in a minute, but these come in black like I have, or they come in this cute blue handle and pink ferrule set. So again, there's a travel set, which is what I have, and then there's a full set. So um, because all I have is the travel set, that's what I'm going to talk about. And these were sent to me for review by Sigma, and I got them a little bit of ahead of their launch date, uh, which is December 5th. So I've gotten to try these, and I so enjoy them. And I've got to say, I've got a whole little carousel of a ton of different brushes. There are some that I reach for every day, and I know I've talked about my Sigma Complete kit as being that go-to brush kit that I love. But then I have a lot of other random brushes that, you know, maybe I've used them a few times, like literally once or twice, and then I don't get much more use out of them. And there are a lot of brush sets out there that can throw in, you know, two dozen some brushes. And okay, that's a great kit. That's a lot of variety. But I think it's a real accomplishment when a travel kit, a kit of seven brushes can give you everything you need for a full face. That's an accomplishment there, and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to talk about this. Actually, these are the brushes I was using in my Maybelline One Brand tutorial. Didn't use any other brushes but these. And so, for me to be kind of satisfied with using just out of one kit of brushes, um, it's pretty cool. So again, it unsnaps here. You've got this great little container, and you've got three face brushes and four eye brushes. If you're familiar with, like, say, the Sigma F80 brush, this is a great foundation brush. This is not in this kit, but I just want to show you. You know, it's those really super soft, dense fibers that, you know, they kind of look light at the tip, and they're very, very soft, but they're still very densely packed. It's that kind of a concept, only you're looking at a full line of face brushes like this. And keep in mind, this is a travel kit. So you might think, well, these are a little smaller. And I've tried plenty of travel kits that are giving you like a mini size brush, and I hate that. This one is the large powder brush. I gotta tell you, this is so darn soft, and this can do your powder your bronzer. Um, this could even do your blush. This could blend out your contouring. I mean, talk about multi-purpose. And so soft, so dense. I mean, the blending is going to happen. And you don't apply a lot of pressure to your face with these brushes. You don't scrub your face with these brushes. Like some brushes, I feel like it's like, okay, blend already. You know, these blend very easily. If I had this kind of brush set when I was like uh, 15, 16 years old getting started with makeup, the process would have been a lot easier. I must say. Um, you also get a large angled contour brush. This can be, this is what I would more likely use for my blush. I could also contour with this very easily. It's targeted enough, you know, it's small enough to where that can be, you know, a great contour and can apply a little more concentrated color than your powder brush is going. You've also got, and I kind of did this a little out of order here, but a foundation brush. Um, I had kind of gotten off of using flat foundation brushes for a while, but I must say this one, having all of these teeny tiny benefits of HD here, there are tons of little brush fibers there. There are tons of little bristles. And that helps in the application of foundation so much. Blending is so important. So you can kind of dot your foundation all over, and then you can take a brush like this and really make sure it's all blended in. So that's great too. So there's face, and then four other brushes here for eyes. And I'm really glad they give you what they give you here. You've got a great brush here that can be used for, you know, just applying that eyeshadow, packing it on the lid. Look, it's kind of chubby. It's really thick with, with bristles. Again, super duper soft. You're gonna get a dense application of powder product from a cheap shadow to a more expensive shadow. I've used it both ways. It's still really good at picking up product from 
your pan and putting it on your eye. Um, I love the size of this tapered blending brush. This is phenomenal here. This is a great tool for blending. I used all these brushes on my face today, by the way, and nothing else. And this was the thing that gives you that beautiful wash of color right up in this area. You don't apply a lot of pressure with these brushes because it doesn't take much to blend out your shadow. Um, the pencil brush. So glad there's pencil brush in here because this is what I use to put the shadow on my lower lash line. I've gotten to where I don't like super precise uh, real lines under my eye here on my lower lash line, so I really keep it very blended and diffused, and that does that for me. This could also, you know, smudge out your upper liner. It could smudge out your creams if you like that. Um, and then there's a small angle brush, and actually what I like to use this for, and you'll find this is going to be a pretty flexible brush. Okay, it's pretty soft. As some angled brushes are very stiff, and the, about the only thing you could imagine doing with them is eyeliner. This is a little bit, it's really small, okay? It's not very wide from here to here, but it's also kind of flexible. So I have loved using this as my little detail brush, and I will use that to put my highlights right here in the inner corner of the eye. Store them all like in one of these little parts and then you could use this other one for uh, other brushes that you have or eyeliners or mascaras or whatever. I also want to note that with the seven brushes in here, this is not packed. So let's say you've got another Sigma brush, one of these large ones, this is the F80 foundation brush. That can fit in there just fine as well, still room. Um, maybe I really want to take my little brush that I used to go through my brows, pop that in there, no problem, or maybe a lip brush, throw that in there. Okay, so you've got it all, and then your top just comes right over that, and then it snaps, and you kind of want to make sure that all of your brushes, you know, I like to put this top on and then kind of twist, and you make sure, you know, you're not trapping any brush hairs in there. Snap, snap and you can throw that in your bag and go with it. Final points on this. I know I really raved on this, and I raved on it because I think this kit is really something special. This is a travel brush kit, but guys, this could be someone's everyday brush kit because I am one who, when it comes right down to it, I use the basic brushes. These are basic brushes, but with a whole new level of blendability with them because of the way the fibers are. And they are vegan friendly. I've got a lot of kits with a lot of brushes in them. When some, when a brand can boil them down to just the ones you need, it's really something special and you will use all of them. I'm confident that if you get this, you will use every brush. Again, there is black. There is also a pink and blue design that you can check out. So hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was informative for you. This would definitely be a great gift idea for this season. So thanks again for watching, guys. Have a great day.